Hey all, I'm Venus Singh, a health coach at Shibufit. Today, I'm going to discuss about type 1.5 diabetes and everything that you need to know about it. So the latest statistics show us that in 2021, 537 million adults between the age of 20 to 79 years were living with some type of diabetes. While type 1 and type 2 diabetes are relatively very common terms, that most of us recognize, type 1.5 diabetes is a relatively new concept which has left most of the individuals puzzled. So, what is type 1.5 diabetes? How do you identify it? What is the treatment recommended for someone diagnosed with this kind of diabetes? We will answer these and many more common questions in the following YouTube video. Latent autoimmune diabetes in adults, also known as NADA, is more commonly known as type 1.5 diabetes. This usually displays similar attributes to both type 1 and type 2 variants of the disorder. It is typically seen in adults diagnosed with diabetes after the age of 35 years. Type 1.5 diabetes is hereditary like the type 1 variety, but it usually sets in very slowly and is diagnosed in adulthood as similar to a type 2 diabetes. However, unlike type 2 diabetes, this variety of the disorder cannot be reversed with a change in the individual's diet and way of life. In most cases, the beta cells also stop functioning more rapidly than when an individual is living with type 2 diabetes. Those diagnosed with type 1 diabetes account for 2 to 10 percent of the individuals diagnosed with this disorder. The leading cause of type 1.5 diabetes is the development of antibodies against essential components required for pancreatic functioning including pancreatic cells, insulin and other enzymes. This influences the way an affected individual's body responds to blood sugar. Many experts are of the opinion that type 1.5 diabetes may share genetic features with the other two kinds, which is why it shows so many similarities to the forms. One of the broadest appearance symptoms of LADA, that's type 1.5 diabetes, is high blood sugar levels. And another one is ketoacidosis, which causes a distinctive sweet fruity odor on the affected individual's breath. Ketoacidosis occurs because the body is not equipped to use the sugars available as fuel and thus starts burning fat for fuel, producing ketones in the body. The other symptoms that appear may be common with those having type 1 or type 2 diabetes. This includes excessive thirst, heightened hunger, extreme fatigue, frequent urination, delayed healings of cut and bruises, bloody vision, decrease in weight despite of increasing in appetite, numbness, tingling and pain in the hands and feet. Diabetes is usually the same as other forms of diabetes. Fasting plasma glucose test is conducted after a fasting period of no less than 8 hours and oral glucose tolerance test is conducted twice, once after 8 hours of fasting and second 2 hours after consuming a beverage that is high in glucose. Lastly, a random plasma glucose test without considering the last time the individual had a meal is to be done. Most of the times, type 1.5 diabetes is diagnosed as type 2 diabetes, making controlling the symptoms very difficult. Individuals diagnosed with type 2 diabetes but who can live active lifestyles and are within a healthy weight range may actually have type 1.5 diabetes. An individual diagnosed with type 2 diabetes should also consider the possibility of having type 1.5 diabetes if they are unable to control the symptoms of diabetes with the traditional oral medications. Like all other factors, the treatment of type 1.5 diabetes also lies somewhere between the treatment approaches of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. While the individual may eventually need to supplement with insulin, 
This is not needed till a later stage in the treatment. As the onset of type 1.5 diabetes is gradual, the person diagnosed with this kind of diabetes can rely on the oral medication prescribed for those with type 2 diabetes. Metformin for type 1.5 diabetes is set to work until the point when the individual's pancreas stops producing insulin. It is believed that individuals afflicted with this disorder may have to rely on insulin within five years of initial diagnosis due to the slowing down of insulin production in the body. The type of insulin, insulin regime and the dose of insulin required will vary from individual to individual and such individuals should undergo frequent blood sugar tests to avoid drastic increase or decrease in the blood sugar levels. The main objective of diabetes treatment is to preserve the pancreatic function. With personalized treatment strategies, an effective plan can be made to control the effect of this illness. The life expectancy of an individual with LADA, that's type 1.5 diabetes, is similar to that of other kinds of disorder. High blood sugar levels that remain over a long period of time can result in other health complications, namely neuropathy, eye disorders, cardiovascular issues, and kidney disorder. Initially, the life expectancy of an individual with type 1 diabetes was said to be slightly lower than normal. However, with improvements in medical technology and medicine, it is now possible for anyone diagnosed with diabetes to live a normal life with good control over their blood sugar levels. Similar to type 1 diabetes, type 1.5 or LADA is caused by genetics that play a significant role in the progression of the condition. That is why there is currently no sure way of preventing the illness. However, with increased care and the correct diagnosis, it can be possible to avoid any drastic complications resulting from type 1.5 diabetes. Maintaining a healthy diet and active lifestyle can also help reduce the number of complications faced while living with type 1.5 diabetes. The best diet for type 1.5 diabetes is the one that is high in fiber, has low glycemic index foods and includes foods that are anti-inflammatory in nature and high on the nutritional index. A gluten-free diet has also been shown a very protective effect on the body.